The American workforce is changing, especially in this pandemic. And while this is not new news or the headline, here's something that is getting a lot of attention. Michael Cups is with a company called Active Ops. They specialize in helping managers across the country adapt to workforce changes and get the most out of their workers. The headline with a new survey, Michael, speaks volumes. 96% of people would take a pay cut if their bosses let them work from home. Tell me what this says in a broader picture. I mean, it's obvious, but uh, the workforce is changing. Yeah, absolutely, Betsy. It's amazing that, that that number is so high. We've seen other surveys that it didn't represent that high. But what it says to, to me and, and, and what we're hearing from our customers is that people enjoyed working from home. They enjoyed the flexibility. They enjoyed not getting in their car and having additional stress, maybe not paying for parking. All of those things added up to uh, realizing that they could work from home and be comfortable and still be productive. How do employers balance this because there are plenty who can do their jobs from home within the same company, some cannot, that cre creates a resentment. It certainly can. There's even an acronym now called FOMO or fear of missing out uh, that's now being used. It, it, it can, but that's where companies and managers need to change their game a bit. They, there's technology to know exactly what people are doing and how well they're doing both from a, an output of work and quality. So there shouldn't be anything. Just measure everybody the same. Whatever the measurement is that you use, use it for the same whether somebody's working at home or in the office and then engage them. Have opportunities for them to either be in the office once in a while to, to, to network or have them on, on Zoom and make it interactive where they're not the, the second class citizen on a Zoom, but they're involved in the conversation right from the start. You work with a lot of professionals and managers. Do they feel that you're hearing, do they feel like their hands are tied, that they have to do this if it's something that they maybe would rather not and they want their employees in the office? Yeah, especially a lot of the managers that have been trained and, and directors and so on that have, they grew up in the office. They, that's how they were taught to manage people. That's how they were. That's how they learned. So it's, it is a bit of a shake. Uh, you know, now they've got blindfolds on because they are working from their own home office or they're working in the office and people are working from home. So they, they need to really upskill and there's technology and there's there's training out there to upskill them. So they're a little bit hesitant to it. But but the reality is with all the starts and stops of returning to the office and the safety concerns, they need to adapt and adapt quickly. Otherwise, their employees are going to go elsewhere. Uh, how productive are people as in general as we're talking about this because uh, the reason why some managers don't want their employees working from home is because they don't think that they're getting the work done that they should. Yeah, and, and that's where I, we would say as a, as a company, we would say then you don't have the right measurement systems and we, we that's what we help companies with. Now, not to pitch our product, but they need to measure the work. And, and what we found because we're a SaaS platform, we actually see the data for very large banks and insurance companies that right as the pandemic started, productivity fell off, of course. People were trying to get laptops connected and so on. Then productivity actually started exceeding the previous volumes because people were working harder because they felt like they had to impress their boss that they were working. And so that actually leveled out and kind of got back to normal, a little above normal. But we see that people working from home are just as productive as people working in the office. And oh, by the way, some people prefer to be in the office. It just depends. And the, the, the companies that will enable flexible work are going to be the winners through this. It's an interesting dynamic, that's for sure. I appreciate having a conversation with you about it, Michael. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Betsy. Take care. You too. We'll be back.